What you guys got another video here for you. Passwords are no longer required to sign into your Microsoft account. That's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So Microsoft have decided to do away with passwords to sign into your Microsoft account. They're saying it's not secure and you don't need it anymore and you can use a app or authentication. As you can see here, the passwordless future is here for your Microsoft account. So if you want to set this up, that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Gives you a bit of a brief description of uh, the problem with passwords and things like that and human nature. And they're trying to move away from that. And I can understand where they're going with this because a lot of people use simple passwords. But if you do want to go passwordless today with a few simple clicks, I'll show you how to do it in this video. It's very simple and easy to do. I'll leave all the links for these pages in the video description so you can just click on these and you'll be able to follow along and just see how it's done. So you can see here, Microsoft have give you a description here of how to go passwordless as well. You can see how to remove a password from your Microsoft account. I already have set up my Microsoft Authenticator app or I need to set up my Microsoft Authenticator app. Click on which one suits you. If you need to set it up, you can click on this one here and it will take you to the download page for the Microsoft Authenticator app. It's working on Google Play or Apple Store. Just download this on your phone and basically you got the QR code there as well. You can scan and basically download this and get it installed onto your phone. Once you've done that, click on this link here and this will log you into your security settings for your Microsoft account. You need to put in your email address and you'll need to put your password in. And basically, once you do all of this and sign in, it's going to ask you for a verification code. This will be sent to your email address. I'm going to copy this into here and then we can sign in and verify. This is the older method of doing this and they want you to move to the new method, which is using this new app. You can click on get app now if you haven't got it. If you've already installed it on your phone, you can click no thanks. And this will take you to your account security settings. Now, even if you missed downloading it here, you still get an option to make changes to your security settings inside your Microsoft account. You can see here two step verification. Click on this and it will say next here after you've read all the information here. And basically it's going to allow you to set up your two step verification via this method. Inside this option, you've got the option to choose an app. You can choose the alternative email address or you can use your phone number. Whatever method you want to use to verify your account, you can say get it now and basically it will download the app now from here as well if you want to do it this way. So whichever way you want to set yours up is easy and simple to do. Now it's a lot more secure than having a password on your account because passwords can be very easy to crack. As you can see here, a new password plus something I can remember equals not secure. People also forgetting their passwords can be a complete nightmare. 15% of people are using pets names for passwords and other common answers include family names. And they also use other important dates uh, like birthdays, anniversaries, and things like that. Now, also, Microsoft have found that one in 10 people also admitted to reusing older passwords across all of their sites. And 40% of people say they use a formula password, something like the fall 2021 or their name and the year they were born and things like that. It's a pretty common thing for people to use these formulas. Now, people that want to exploit your uh, passwords or, or hackers and people like that can use social engineering techniques uh, which they can use small talk and pick up information about pets names uh, when you're born and all these sorts of things we just generally uh, divulge this sort of information to people and this is how they can uh, crack your passwords so anyway that's going to be about it for this video so microsoft i think have made a step in the right direction for uh, removing passwords from accounts and giving the option for uh, two-step verification to make it much more secure so I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. So if you're still using a password to sign in to your Microsoft account and you want to step up your security using the two-step verification, then that's basically how you can do it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate that support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.